In this lesson, we're going to learn about the After Effects presets. And we're going to make something that looks similar to this. Of course, your background and your animation is going to be different. But you're going to have a cool animated background. And you're going to take your name and you're going to animate it. And we're going to let After Effects do all the work. It's pretty cool. So now let's go to File and New Project. I'm not going to save this because I want to start from scratch. We're going to go to Composition, New Composition. Keyboard shortcut, Control N. And remember, we've been just doing this preset NTSC DV so that everything's small and runs quickly. The duration is going to be five seconds down here. And for our comp name, let's call it preset. And then hit OK. First, we're going to throw our name on there. So let's grab the text tool. Let's click somewhere here and type in our name. My name is Joe. Whoa capital O. There we go. Now, when you highlight your text, you're going to come over here to your character panel and you're going to play around. So first of all, here's my size so I can scrub on this. This is what's called scrubbable text. Now, if, if you click a single time and it looks like this, it's highlighted and it's got a box around it, you can type in a number. But I like to use scrubbable text. So let me click off of that. And then I'm going to click back on it and drag. So I'm not letting go of my mouse. I'm clicking and dragging. And that lets me dynamically change the size. Here is our fill color. So if you double click on this little icon, you can change the fill color. So let's say I wanted to make my text red. Or I could change it to any color over here. So these are the colors on the right hand side. And then this is how dark or how light that color is, the value of that color. Other little color right here, kind of looks like an open box, is your stroke color. So maybe I'll make my stroke color kind of a weird yellow here. Got that. Now that looks really ugly, but that's what I'm looking for. And of course, you can change the font. Now, here's a kind of a cool little trick. If you click on the font name, highlight the font name, you can use your arrows on your keyboard to quickly go through and change the font and see which one you like. That's kind of a dynamic way of changing the font. Okay, I'm going to grab my arrow tool and I'm going to move it to where I want it to. You can do some resizing, but be careful. Sometimes it um, gets a little funky. So I've got my name on there. Now we're going to animate it. And we're going to let After Effects do all the work. So I'm going to go over here to my Effects and Presets dialog box. And hopefully this will work for you and you have a, a working version of Bridge. So in this panel, there's this little thing that looks like three lines, four lines. I guess that's three. So you click on that and you go to Browse Presets. And what it does is it opens up Adobe Bridge, Adobe's media browser. Now, if this does not work, if you just can't get Bridge open, you can always just click on this little arrow here, and you've got access to all the exact same presets. The advantage of having Bridge, let me switch back to Bridge, is that you get a visual preview of what it's going to look like. So we're going to go into the text folder here. And these are all the text effects. And we're going to go to Animate In. And if you just click a, a single time on here, you get a little preview of what it's going to look like. Now, this might take a little bit of time to load. So if it's not playing immediately for you, don't freak out. Um, so there's all these cool little effects. And if that's all you wanted to do is browse them, you can always go back to After Effects and then twirl open text and twirl open animate in and find all those exact same presets. But if you're in Bridge, you have your uh, layer selected. You go to Bridge. You should be able to double click on this preset. You'll notice that After Effects started flashing. I'm going to click back here. It's giving me a reference error function. I'm going to go ahead and hit OK, and it still does it. That's fine. So as you can see now, if I scrub it in, it looks like that matrix thing as the letters kind of fall in or rain in. If you don't like that, you can just find a different one. Let's say I wanted to try decoder. I can just drag and drop right on top of my text. And now I've applied my decoder instead of the raining. Okay, now here's the deal. How does After Effects do all this work? What, what's it doing in the background? Here's a cool way of controlling what it's doing. If you select the layer and hit U, 
on your keyboard, you'll get the key frames of where it's starting and where it's ending. So it looks like here is where the range selector one is happening. Here's where another thing is. And you can grab these keyframes and move them. So you can change how fast or how slow these things happen. If you watch mine, you'll see that the name doesn't come in for quite a while. And in fact, it takes longer than five seconds for it to come on at the very end of my, my name's not even on there. So how do I fix that? Well, if you grab the bar, the layer bar, you can actually click and drag on it and slide it down and voila, there's that keyframe. I need to move this keyframe further in so that my name finishes before the end of the animation. Now I'm gonna slide this back. There we go. And you can see now when I render this, that my name comes in and finishes at that keyframe. So you may end up having to play around with the keyframes that are preset into this animation. So now I'm gonna hit you again to collapse that. The second thing I wanted to show you is how to make an animated background. So let's go to layer and new layer and solid, and uh, we'll call this background or BG. And we need to throw it below the text. So over here in your layers, click and drag it below the text. And now um, this time, well, I'll, I'll show you. In bridge, if we go back here, see these little breadcrumbs along the top? We can go to preset. That goes back to the default backgrounds. And I'm gonna go here to open up the folder for backgrounds. You can see we have all these cool backgrounds. So I'm gonna do this river. So that let me preview it. I can twirl this open. I can go to backgrounds. I can go to um, river, find river, and drag and drop it right here on layer. And you can see now I've got this cool animated background. What I wanted to show you is you can click on the background layer now and over here in your effects control, you can scroll up and down and you can change things. So for example, I'm gonna change the color of my shadows to a, a green. So I'll just scrub this down here and I'll make the midtones kind of a red or a yellow. And that looks really gross. You can change it. Just like with the, the foreground, you can always click on U and see the keyframes in here. And you can scroll back and forth. And I'm just gonna move these keyframes further forward. So when you're finished, you've got a cool animated background that you've played around with in the effects control. You've got your name animated in here and it's looking cool. You're going to save it, of course, and then export it so I can see it. So remember to export, you go to file and export, Adobe Media Encoder. These should be set except for where it's gonna go. So remember, I like to put it in my export folder. So I'm gonna go to export, call it preset, and then hit play.